News now with Storm Show Meteorologist George Flickinger. George, you're tracking rain today. Uh, Max, yes, just watching our live shot down there from the Eufaula area. They're going to have to contend with some rain and in the next two hours. They're going to see some increasing batches of rain out at the rescue site, so uh, they'll have to uh, fight that rain certainly throughout the morning. As far as our weather out of the bus stop, if you're getting your family ready for school today, make sure your children and yourself have some rain gear and um, an umbrella because increasing rain will be moving on in this morning and especially during the afternoon it will be a cool day today. Temps reaching the lower 60s. So increasing rain during the morning and especially during the PM hours, and we're going to see quite a range of rainfall totals. The farther west and northwest you live from Tulsa, the closer your amounts are going to be to zero. If you live closer toward the Missouri and Arkansas state line, east of Tulsa, you're going to see over an inch of rain, and we're going to see some two inch rain totals into Arkansas. So overall, more rain falling to the east of Tulsa. Now, right now, Storm Shield radar shows that we are dry here in T Town this morning. If you do have something you want to get done this morning, get it done as soon as you can. The morning will be the driest part of the day, but we're already tracking increasing areas of light rain and sprinkles right now. This is looking toward Lake Hudson, Salina, and Spavanaugh. You can see this area of light rain, which is lifting up to the north. You can see those showers located there near Grove. You can also see the rain that is located in southeastern Oklahoma. This rain is advancing toward McAllister and also that crash site near Lake Eufaula right in here. That's where our live crews and the rescue crews are this morning. They're going to get that increasing rain during the next two hours. Overall, though, heavier amounts of rain falling to the east into Arkansas. Temps this morning, notice there's a pretty big range. Where we have clearer skies, it's colder out to the west. Watonga 38, 42 into Stillwater, while the rest of green country, cloudy skies and temps in the 50s. So it looks like a dry start here in Tulsa. Right now we're at 55 and the wind is from the north and east. This computer model forecast shows that at lunchtime today, we'll see these increasing batches of rain. Notice that as you make your way toward Ponca City and I-35, there will be less rain. Where you see these pockets of yellow, this is where we'll see some heavier amounts of rain, generally east and to the south of Tulsa. Occasional rain during the afternoon, 10 p.m. tonight still looks wet across eastern Oklahoma. Then overnight tonight, we will see the rain ending, and by noon tomorrow, all of this rain will be to the east of Tulsa, and we're going to have a very nice weekend as far as your temperatures for the weekend. So occasional rain today, cloudy and cool. We'll see highs reaching the lower 60s and we'll have a north wind. Rain during the evening, heavier rain east. Most of the rain ends by midnight and especially tomorrow morning. We'll see a low tonight in the upper 40s. Your seven day forecast, a few showers around in the morning and then a very pleasant weekend for your outdoor adventuring. 66 and dry tomorrow afternoon and max how about 71 and sunny for Sunday.